yo You know I'm alive What is going on you guys? It's your boy Ferg here back again with another Call of Duty Mobile video and in today's video we're going to be talking about the top 5 guns that you can use inside of the ranked playlist or even in the public match playlist of Call of Duty Mobile. Now if you guys don't know I have done a giveaway, 25 premium battle passes are going to be given away to you guys in the comment section down below. All you need to do is subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you can get notified of when I upload and then comment within the first hour of a video upload and I will be picking 25 winners to win a free battle pass. Now, without any further ado, let's get into that number five spot. Now coming in at number 5, it is a gun that basically nobody would ever expect to be on this list. I mean, if you had told me a week ago that I would be putting this gun on this list, I would have told you to shut up. And that's why I take so long to make these videos and to really play ranked a little bit and understand what guns are actually powerful and useful inside of certain situations because at the start of the season, in the first couple of days, I see some YouTubers here and there and they upload top 5 lists and they haven't really experienced what the season is actually all about. It just so happens that this season, a dark horse or an underdog of the guns is the buy 15. That is my number five spot. Now today we're going to be reading guns out of versatility, effectiveness in its prime, and skill to use or ease of use. Like how easy is the gun to use? How much skill does it require? If it takes a lot of skill and it's really difficult to use, the number will be much lower. But if it takes less skill and it's super easy to use, the number will be higher. So for example, an LMG would have a higher ease of use or easier skill gap because they have large magazine capacity. But either way, the by 15, it's crazy. It is actually insane. The reason why it's number five and maybe not further up this list, even though it's my current favorite gun inside of the game, is because of how hard it is to use. It takes an incredible amount of skill to actually use this effectively and have a really, really good performance with this gun, just because of the fact that it's very non-versatile. It's a very unversatile gun. And for that reason, the ease of use to this gun, I would have to say it's probably around a three. The versatility of this gun again it's a three like literally you're probably wondering why are you putting this gun on the list if there's two threes in there the effectiveness of this prime 10 hands down up close you hit that shot perfectly instant kill every time as long as the shot is accurate if you ever see me complaining about maybe i got a hit marker or i feel like i hit the shot but it didn't hit it's my fault if you ever see somebody complaining about something like that with the shotgun it's their fault they weren't accurate enough if you get it in the center of your crosshair up close you will kill them every single time that's just how these shotguns work. It's a super hard gun to use. It's going to take some skill to understand your decision process and what you need to do in order to get kills with this weapon and working around the map so that you're only taking short range gunfights. So it's a three. The versatility, it's a three as well. You really can't take people out long range at all. I mean, the gun literally stops working after medium range, so it's not good there. But the effectiveness of this prime, it is among the best in the game. Hands down, it's the best shotgun in the game easily, and its prime is absolutely incredible. I absolutely love this gun. It's my current current favorite gun, like I said, in the game. It's so fun to use. It's so satisfying when you get a really good game plan with it. And if you guys haven't seen my highlights video that I uploaded yesterday, I actually managed to get two VTOLs in ranked with this gun by playing it correctly. With that being said, I love the buy and I feel like it's deserving of the top five spot on this list. See you later. Oh my gosh, I thought that was an enemy. Bruh. Now this is another one that people might be surprised about because there's a couple of sniper rifles that are really good inside of this game, but we're talking about specifically ranked. What gun is going to get you wins in ranked if you can play it effectively? And that is the Arctic 50. I mean, the Arctic 50 comes in at this number four spot so strong and it's the only sniper on this list. There's not going to be the DLQ and there's not going to be the Locust on this list. And some people may be surprised about that, but you've got to think about it like this. The Arctic 50 has the versatility that the DLQ and the Locust just don't have. It has the same damage pretty much as the Locust. It has a little bit less damage than the DLQ, but as long as you're hitting them in the chest and above, you're still going to get a one-shot kill with this gun. You can also have the ability to put an ACOG on it and basically use it like a single-shot assault rifle. I mean, the recoil on it is basically non-existent, whereas with the DLQ, the recoil is pretty high after you shoot, and then the Locust, it's absolutely insane after you shoot. So for that reason, I feel like it was definitely deserving of this number four spot. Now, the ease of use, I'm going to have to give it a solid eight. I mean, this is pretty damn easy to use as if you have 
have an ACOG with it. If you don't have an ACOG with it and you're just using the default scope, I'm going to give it a six. But bro, it's really not that hard to use. And um, the effectiveness of its prime, which is super long range, I'm going to give it a solid nine. The DLQ would have been a 10, but just because you can't one shot people around the waist area, I'll give it a nine. Versatility, I believe that you can use this gun medium and long range. So for that reason, I'm actually going to give it a six. I know some people probably think it should be a little bit lower. Some people may think it should be a little bit higher depending on how you play with the Arctic. But for the general population of this game who play ranked, I'm going to give it a six. But with that being said, I think that the Arctic is deserving of the number four spot. And let's get into the number three spot. Now coming in at number three, this gun has been around since the beta. I've been talking about this gun for the past three, four months now. I said this from the beginning that this gun was one of the best guns. It's always been in my top five list every single season. It is none other than the S36. Before we even talk about this gun, look what I did yesterday with this gun in ranked. Oof. Oof. Keep on them. We're winning this one. Oof. Oh my gosh, dude, my accuracy is absolutely crazy. Bro! Dude, this is just nuts. You know what the craziest thing about that clip was? That accuracy that I had in ranked in that legendary ranked game was that I wasn't even using a grip. I didn't even have a grip on the S36. They had snipers and they couldn't kill me fast enough with the sniper while I was literally tearing it up across the map. They didn't even have a chance to scope in at me. That's how good this gun is long range. This gun is absolutely nutty long range. It's really easy to use and it's pretty damn versatile as well as long as you're good at moving. So for that reason, for ease of use, I'm going to say that this gun is probably one of the easiest to use guns in the game. I'm going to give it a 10. It's a 10 out of 10 for ease of use. Effectiveness of its prime, I really do believe that it's an 8. It's definitely an 8 for effectiveness of prime. And then versatility up close is where this gun really drops off because guns like the MSMC are just going to absolutely destroy it. But I still think it's deserving of a 7. I really, really do think that it is a fairly versatile gun. The effectiveness of prime and the ease of use make it super, super good inside of this game. It's absolutely incredible. The only downside to it is really that close range combat. And to be honest, number two on this list, it's basically the opposite of what the S36 is in terms of being good long range and not being good close range. Speaking of number two, let's move on to it right now. Coming in at that number two spot, it is the MSMC. The best submachine gun in the game. The ease of use, it's not that easy to use. I may just have to put that down right now. Once you put a grip on it, I believe it becomes a seven for ease of use. I know some people in the comment section will be like, Ferg, I suck with the MSMC. Why do I suck? Put a grip on it, play a couple of games with it, a couple of public matches with it, and I promise you, just keep practicing it. It will become easy to use. Trust me. The effectiveness of its prime, it's a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10, baby. The MSMC, dude. In the prime, up close range, unbelievable. It's so, so good. Unfortunately, the versatility of this gun is kind of lower than what people would maybe like it to be. But honestly, in a competitive ranked mode, I really do believe that this will be the best close range option in the game. Just like the S36 is probably the best long range option in the game currently. I really didn't know where to put these guns, whether the second should have been third or the third should should have been second for the S36 and the MSMC. The S36 has a higher overall ranking than the MSMC, but I feel like most people would get use out of the MSMC more because most people like to rush around the map a lot. So that's why the MSMC is up on number two and the S36 is number three, even though the S36 has a higher overall ranking than it. So with that being said, let's move into number one. It is the best assault rifle in the game, hands down. It was number one in my assault rifle video already for this season. It is none other than the Type 25. Is there even a reason for me to give you guys any opinion on this gun? It is by far the most versatile AR. It is highly easy to use, to be honest, especially if you have a grip on that bad boy. And its prime exceeds so many other primes of every other weapon. I mean, you can use it close range, you can use it medium range, you can even use it long range. Keep in mind that the recoil kicks a little bit long range, but let's be honest, if you see a guy 
guy and he's not even looking at you, you're gonna kill him with the Type 25 long range. Like, it is a really, really good gun. Ease of use. I'm gonna say it's an E8 effectiveness of its prime. Currently, in its current state, compared to every other gun in the game, the past videos I've uploaded have only been compared to guns in their category, but compared to every other gun in the game, for versatility, I'm gonna have to give it a 9, for sure. And then, for effectiveness in its prime, I mean, there's so much depth in its prime, I'm going to have to give it a 10. I know, I've given out a lot of 10s today. I've given out 10s to every single top 3 gun, but would they really be a top 3 gun if they weren't a 10 in at least one of the categories that they are meant to be good at? Like, let's be serious here. All three guns at the top of this list are extremely good in their own right in different scenarios. S36 is long range. MSMC is the best close range. Type 25, though, the best overall. It covers every category. Of course, you can use a sniper for long range to counter the S36, like the Arctic 50 further down the list, or you can use a shotgun on the list to try and counter the MSMC. But for overall, these top three guns are just unbelievably good inside the ranked playlist in Call of Duty Mobile. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you think about these gun lists. I know BY-15's in it, that's kind of weird, but it really is an underrated gun and I really feel like it's deserving of a spot on this list. But yeah, subscribe, like the videos, comment down below. I love you all and without further ado, let's roll the outro. Bye!